We are here to uh, celebrate the launch of uh, the, A Time to Kill on Broadway, which is coming to the stage September 28th in previews and October 20th for opening. It is about a father whose daughter is uh, savagely dealt with and he seeks his own vengeance. He is black, the people that he kills are white. And the question is, were the races reversed? Would he receive the same justice and understanding from the law uh, that is now seeking to execute him for his act of rage and, and vengeance? The story in the play is really situated at the intersection between morality, law, and justice, and how these things work together. And the questions are deep ones. Is the law just? Uh, is, uh, is there ever a time to take the law into your own hands? I played Jake Brigance. He is Carly Haley's defense attorney in the trial, which is the, the main set of action that, that happens throughout the, the play. And I play Carly Haley, uh, who is the father of the daughter that the unspeakable crimes happen to, and he takes justice into his own hands. I am the mother and the wife of the defendant. My husband uh, is accused of killing two men who hurt his, our daughter. I am playing Ellen Rourke in A Time to Kill. Um, and my character basically is Jake's assistant in defending Carly Haley in court. I play Rufus R. Buckley, who's the prosecuting attorney, prosecuting Carly Haley for the murder of two boys who raped his daughter. Well, I play the judge. Uh, with the uh, quite appropriate name of uh, Judge Noose. And he wants to get this thing moving and get it off his books and get the trial over with. You have the, the juxtaposition of a horrendous crime, almost unspeakable. And then you have a response to that that uh, elicits sympathy, but is also horrendous in its own right. It'll be very interesting to see, you know, what people think about it once they see it.